camera moving for. What's up, guys? It's Rye here, Bull City Speed, bringing you episode number one of a little project I like to call... Well, that's the thing. I don't know what to call this. I would love to have a name for it. That man needs a name. Leave it in the comments below, and if I like it and select it, I will send you a t-shirt. What are we dealing with? This is my regular cab short bed 2000 Chevy Z71 pickup. We got a 5.3 under the hood, a 4L60 under my butt, and a quarter of a million miles of experience on this bad boy. And we are taking it to the track today. We're going to Kinston Drag Strip in North Carolina, and we're going to baseline this thing and see where we sit. I want to be able to quantify the data and the performance increase every step of the way throughout the duration of this project. What are we doing with this project, you ask? I'm glad you said something, guy who sounds just like me. This is the working class hero truck. Um, I'm going to build a hot rod for the guy who says... I would love to build a race car, man. I'd love to do what you do, but I can't afford it. I'm gonna show you how to do it kind of cheap. Uh, I need a car to drive to work every Monday. I'm gonna retain the ability to drive it. This thing will drive to work every single Monday, unless I absolutely grenade this thing and break it and destroy it. I would love to do what you do, but I only got one car. I'm gonna show you how to do it with one car. I would love to do what you do, but I need a truck for work. Guess what? This is a truck. It's got a bed right back there. 99 to 07 and up, uh, even up above that. Like these trucks are dirt cheap right now. They're starting to get a little long in the tooth, a little worse for wear. This one was a work truck in its previous life and it shows. We're gonna fix all the issues that are popping up on it as they come up, but we're going to race the bejesus out of this thing. I'm gonna show you guys that you can have your cake and eat it too. You can build a car that goes well beyond the spectrum of just basic bolt-ons. I'm not gonna throw a cold air kit on this piece of junk and a cat-back exhaust and tell you it's a race car and that it's fast because that's bull crap, it's not. I'm gonna put a turbo under the hood of this thing and I'm gonna do it over the course of many weekends. I'm gonna document it every step of the way and again, it's my daily driver and it's gonna stay that way. So. How are we gonna do this? Well, the folks over at Brian Tooley Racing reached out and said, what are you working on, dude? We want in. And I explained to them, they said, we love it. Let us know how we can help. So I'm gonna show you every step of the way, the parts that I use, and a intricately laid out plan to make sure that when I tear this thing apart on Friday, it's put back together on Sunday to go to work on Monday. I'm gonna document all the trials and tribulations along the way. Any parts breakage that we have, uh, successes, failures, you guys are gonna see it all right here. I'm gonna show you that you can do this at home. Don't be intimidated. Don't say, uh, I don't really think I have the skills for it. I'm gonna show you even what tools to buy. Yes, you're gonna need some stuff that it might hurt a little bit, but I would rather see you guys invest your money into buying tools than buying parts that you're only gonna put on one time. Give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day, teach him to fish, and he'll eat for the rest of his life. I'm gonna teach y'all how to fish, and you're gonna have your cake and eat it too. Let's get into it. minutes later. All right, that's it. First one is in the books. Here we go. If you are the winner of the Brian Tooley Racing Valve Seal Installation Tool, 16.522 at 84.11 miles an hour. So whoever was closest to that, you just won a Brian Tooley Racing Valve Seal Install Tool. I'm gonna figure out who that was, look through the comments, and I'll send it to you. For now, I'm gonna go start cutting some weight off of this bad boy and see how fast we can get it today. Ah, oh, race truck. Oh, you all right, little guy? Yeah, we're gonna shed our way to a number. You're next. Ah, oh, race truck continues. Dealing with these hangers, we're gonna drop the cat back off this bad boy and we're gonna take it out and we'll see if we can best our 1655. My boy Jamie just showed up, so we're gonna throw a tune on it after that. And then we're really gonna let this thing eat and set the world on fire. Weight reduction complete. Tailgate's off, muffler's dropped, spare tire's gone. 
I even added a sticker on there. Stickers make you always go faster. So let's see what this thing's gonna do now with the weight reduction, stock tune, and then we'll throw JP Tuning's magic at it and see what we got. All right, last pass, 1640. Uh, starting to push through the beams a little bit, kind of killing my 60 foot. I was gonna go back up there and make another hit, but the line is crazy full, so we said, we're just gonna send it. Uh, this is my boy Jamie right here, JP Tuning. He's working his magic on the keyboard here, using HP tuners, and we're gonna see how much we can squeak out of a stock truck. Let's do that. So that wraps up today. Successful day at the track. Any day that you can drive your junk home or onto the trailer is a good day at the track after beating on everything. Um, all in all, we're not setting the world on fire. 1652 at 84 miles per hour. Uh, so if you were the lucky ones to guess the mile per hour or the elapsed time or be the closest, congratulations. You just won some free Brian Tooley Racing Valve Seal Install Tool for your LS goodness. And uh, send you some other stuff, stickers, koozie, throw some crap in the box and get it out to you. So, not a bad baseline. Uh, quarter million miles on the truck. I am not disappointed with that at all. What is really cool too was, you know, we shed all the weight and then the next run it ran 16.4. Uh, I kind of pushed through the beams on that one a little bit and I lost a lot of the rollout. So I feel like that could have been a 16.2, 16250 maybe. Um, but no big deal. I didn't want to go back up there and run it again. I figured we'll just throw the tune at it. So <clears throat> my man, Jamie Parker, dude, the wizard on the computer, worked his magic with HP tuners, threw a quick tune in the thing, literally sat there for 15 minutes. He punched a few keys on it. Uh, and we decided to give it what it, we thought it would take and what it would want. Uh, 1595 at 88 miles per hour was the end result. So what's next? Uh, well, if you watch my what's in the box video, then you know what's coming next. It's cam time, baby. Brian Tooley Racing Stage 2 Truck Cam is the next phase of this build, and I'm going to show you guys all the ins and outs of installing a camshaft over the course of a weekend in an LS motor and how to do it the right way. So stay tuned for episode two and more to come with whatever we're going to name this project. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what you think we should name it. And if I like it, I'm going to send you a t-shirt. I'm Rod with Bull City Speed, and I'm out. Peace.